Then I sit down, I put up my phone, nothing even fancy. Do use my back camera though, because it's a little better than my front camera, right? I put up my phone on my tripod. I use one of those little clickers off of Amazon, little Bluetooth clicker, and I just shoot and go. And you will get really good at this where you can record 50 videos in an hour, right? But if you have two hours, you can record those just 50 topics that you're talking about. Oh, man. You know, I'm just going to leave it there, y'all. <laughs> I, I, I can do, we could go on. Oh, here's what he's talking about. The little exactly. Guy. Exactly. So I could go on and on and on with you. <laughs> and I will at some other point. <laughs>
right? We have to make good content. And so now we focus, we are an ads agency, we are a growth agency, we are a marketing agency, but our number one focus is content uh, with our clients. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So a lot of uh, short form video. Act, exactly. Exactly. And, and so you're saying that you saw at the same time or around the same time that iOS had did have had, they literally broke the the ad system right exactly. you know they really did they broke the ad system but you were seeing others after it was broken were still getting gains and it was the content and the style that uh, they were producing and it was a, so my question is were were they producing this this content as ads or was it also there you know they were seeing some you know organic uh, activity also, you know? Yeah, what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's a good question. So one client in particular was just, they just love TikTok and they started going all in on TikTok and I will be on record. And I tell people this all the time. Like I am not scared to make bold statements. And then if I get new information, like I will change my statements. Right. And so one of the bold statements that I was making at the time was I thought TikTok, and it's funny now that I say this, I thought TikTok was like a, a trend, right? Mm -hmm, I was like, mm -hmm. eh, I don't see any like life behind it. I don't see any legs behind it. Like my little cousins and siblings use TikTok. Like, I don't see the, the value there. But one of our clients, and I was publicly saying these things, right? One of our clients was like, yeah, Casey, I'm going to just test it. And I'm always like, yes, test it. Let me know how it goes. Like, because again, I want to be open to, I want to be proven wrong, right? I love right, new right. platforms, love new information. So he went out there and tried it. And so to answer your question, what he was doing, he put out around 300 videos around the, the span of a month, a month and a half. And he was like, I'm just having fun with it. And he was seeing it from a perspective of it's helping me get better at understanding, you know, the messaging, my marketing messaging to the, my uh, potential customers. Right. And so he was, and I love that frame when people just go into new platforms and it's not about the followers. It's not about the sales. It's like, Hey, what, what, how is this making me a better owner, CEO operator? Right. And so he went in with like, Hey, I'm just exploring this to get better at my marketing messaging. What happened though, because he was putting those videos out organically, he shot up organically. Also our team as, as ads folks, we were like, hey, this is a really good ad. And so we actually started running some of the content as ads, right? And so okay. we were kind of doing both at the same time. He blew up organically. One of the videos after 300, and we could talk about this, but his 301 video finally went viral, right? His intent was not to go viral. 301 went viral. And till this day, that video probably nets them around 20 to 30 K just off of that video. That it's still getting video. life. It's still going and it just gets sales. Right. Um, also, then if you think about it, we use a video like that. It's getting tons of sales organically. We use a video like that as ads. And right. it's a no brainer. So have you. OK, this is this is fascinating. So yeah. 301, that's what we're going to talk about. So we take 301, 301 hits yep. and you take that and move it. Now you said that it's still doing 20, 30 K in yeah. sales right now. Exactly. At, is that organically all get all out. organic, all oh, organic. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And so then you take that same organic content, turn it into an ad obviously and, exactly. and, and blow it up now, exactly. but what have you taken that organic and put that organically on other sites and seen, do you see the same sort yes. of engagement? So yeah, so I won't say necessarily the same, but we mm -hmm. do see um, things that work pretty well on TikTok because it's the same audience, right? Okay. At the end of the day, it's not like it's the same audience, right? Kate, mm -hmm. I have my mom. My mom has a TikTok account. My mom has an Instagram account. She has a Facebook account. She's on some platforms more than the others, but it's the same audiences, right? Relatively mm -hmm. that we're uh, we're speaking to, and so the only difference on these platforms is algorithm. Algorithms, though, on these platforms, what we're seeing, Instagram and YouTube, are trying to become more like TikTok, not to right. get too specific, right, right. but more like TikTok. And so I will say, to answer your question, initially, those TikToks that went viral did not work on the other platforms. Now, so we will repost, right? If we get a video that goes pretty well, we will repost that video um, monthly. Um, so now we still get, we now we are seeing that reach on the other platforms um, with those viral videos over on TikTok. Awesome. So you're saying you'll repost the same video organically monthly on yep. the same channels? Yes. 
Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yep, so one little so, hack to just milk the heck yeah, yeah, out of yeah. like your viral videos, like repost them. Yeah. So the life, the lifespan of a short form video is short. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, well, so enough so you can that, throw it out again. Yeah. It's it it can, and this is why I do love TikTok as a platform as well. Um, if you go on your TikTok for you page right now, you might be hit with the with a video that came out in January, 2021, mm. right? Um, and so the live, like these are short form videos, but TikTok has a platform. They do help the creators give longevity to their short form pieces of content, right? Um, and so I think the other platforms are catching up. YouTube um, is catching up a, a lot in the shorts, um, yeah. but I think that people, if you do make a good piece of short form content, it can live on for a very long time. Okay. So, I mean, you know, guys go back, listen to this. There's a whole strategy there. I'm not going to sit here and <laughs> pick it apart for you. Listen again. Cause it was a whole strategy. All yeah. right. Cause I really want to go on to the next part, which is, you know, TikTok versus YouTube. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts here? So you're going to give me a record saying that again, I'm not scared. Right, to that's make okay. bold, I'm not <laughs> scared to make bold statements, statements and change them. What have you, <laughs> but I do believe, so we're currently in the year 2023. I do believe um, that YouTube shorts, so if we have the same conversation a year from now, I do believe we will solely be talking about YouTube shorts. Um, I believe that YouTube shorts is going to out surpass even TikTok, Instagram reels. Um, I believe that a lot of creators are going to start spending a lot of time over on YouTube shorts, um, a lot more creators, I should say. Um, but I do think that YouTube shorts is going to be the thing. Um, especially like as we get to the the latter half of this year, my thesis is that everybody's going to be talking about YouTube shorts. Mm. Yeah. And, and why do you think that? So YouTube, right, is so, okay, a few reasons. One, TikTok does have a lot of political pressures on it right Absolutely. now with yeah. safety and is it going to get banned and different things like that. And we could talk about that. Um, so that's one reason, right? And so then even for creators, business owners, um, we see t TikTok, we see like, oh, this is great, the possibilities, but a lot of strategically, a lot of us are thinking, okay, if this goes away, what's the next thing, right? Like, where, where do I go? And YouTube, for a lot of the same people that are creating and monetizing over on TikTok, YouTube is that place where you can build real and has always been really, really, really strong communities, right? Your subscribers on YouTube are super, super valuable, right? And we could have a whole conversation on YouTube. Um, but shorts right now, it's been hard to grow on YouTube, right? If you are just new to the landscape, it's pretty hard to just start a YouTube account and really just, you know, take off. But shorts is allowing people, even if you want to just start a new YouTube account today, which notoriously has been pretty hard to, to grow on YouTube. If you want to start a new YouTube account today, Shorts, I have some people that are getting 50,000 subs a month just by posting shorts. They haven't even posted any long form video, right? Um, and so if you think about YouTube as, hey, this is probably where your, uh, your best chances at building a super, super engaged audience is. Hmm. Um, and then shorts is the way to do that. I feel like, you know, creators, business owners are, are going to be really all in on, on YouTube shorts. So it's like, shorts to long form video or yeah. shorts to I mean what's the what's the what's the play here I mean I should yeah. do how okay first how often yeah. just in general or should I be making this content yeah so the one thing so on this point how I how I say this is that short form videos are for width right short form mm. videos are for width mm -hmm. it's okay. like a fishnet out there I can just get the attention and all these things long yeah. form videos for depth Deep. Yep. right okay. so Got I get it. deeper with my long form video but I need to get like I need it's a funnel right and so I need as many people as I can at that top of that funnel and then I I funnel them down right yeah to the point around how much I get this question a lot and the the thing that I say is however much you can post consistently and so if you can post a video a day consistently like and I say consistently I'm talking about for the next 100 days right mm -hmm. if you can post a video a day for the next 100 days right next 90 days to make it three months um do that if you can post three videos a day for the next 90 days over on YouTube do that and a lot of us can, right? Because a lot of us, and I know I'm talking to you, like a lot of us have been making Instagram reels. We right. have been making TikToks. And so we are actually sitting on a good chunk of 
uh, YouTube shorts per se, just remove the watermark and start uploading them, right? This doesn't even need to be net new content. It's all the, re like you have a hundred reels right here. You have 300 TikTok videos, start downloading them, remove the watermark, upload to YouTube, two, three, four, however much you can do consistently over a hundred day period. Um, and you will, you will start seeing the, the growth. Okay, cool, cool. What's, what's the most important uh, thing on a uploaded video? Of course, content of the video, mm -hmm. but past that, I mean, is it the title? Is it the description? Mm -hmm. Is it the hashtags? What you know, okay, you're going to say all of the above, but yeah. <laughs> give, it, give, give it to me, give it to me. Well, the, I will, the number one thing is the hook, right? The number mm. one thing in a short form video, long form video on a movie, on a TV commercial, right? It's the hook. It is how in that first, what we call in the short form, it's the first three seconds, but how the first three seconds or, or minute or what, if it's longer form hooks somebody in, right? And so a hook can be a lot of different things. It can be the title. The title can be the hook. The hook can be a text overlay. The hook, the hook can be like how I like move my phone and like show some things, but it's what's happening in that first three seconds that actually peaks a viewer to say, okay, let me actually stop scrolling, right? And stop this dopamine rush that I'm feeling by like exploring all these cool videos. Let me stop scrolling and spend the next 20 seconds with you. Right. Because you gave me something that either piqued my curiosity, that made me super excited, that hooked me into a story you're about to tell me. You hooked me in with something in that first three seconds. And now I'm going to give you my attention for the next 20, 30 seconds, however long that short form video is. OK, cool, yeah. cool, cool. All right. Is there a format that I might want to, you know, kind of overlay when I'm doing these things, you know, after the hook? So after the hook, I just, we just call it uh, the meat and then kind of like the, the ending. Um, there are so many different formats and we could spend a lot of time here. So this is actually what we do with our clients. We come out, we film, we structure all the, the videos and the content. And there's so many different types of videos, right? There's um, video like tutorials, there's um, funny videos, there's just statement videos, right? And so the after the hook, it's kind of a little different depending on the style of the, the video. Um, but the hook is is the most important thing. If you can hook somebody in, even if you're telling a mediocre story, like you've hooked them in and the algorithm will reward you for hooking people in. Okay, cool. So, yeah. you know, I know that you are a video recording beast and, <laughs> you know, you talk about doing, you know, if I can do this for the next hundred days, you, you don't do like a video a day for a hundred days, do you? Yeah. So one of, so I can answer this question um, in a couple of different ways. Um, yes and no. There are a lot of people have, are sitting on a ton of content, right? And so right. like even this video right here, like we're recording, this could probably be around 10 to 12 videos that we're making, right? And then if we like edit them up and chop them up differently and like Mert, we could easily probably get like 20 different videos, 50 different videos from this 30 minute conversation, right? Um, and so there are ways to make hundreds of videos a day. One of my goals, though, in this kind of like new year, I'm doing like a 90 day sprint. It is 100 minutes worth of content creation for 100 days. So a little over 90 days, um, but 100 minutes. So around two hours um, that is going to be focused just on content creation. Now, will that all be like short form? No, it might be some long form in there. It's some podcasts in there. It's some lives in there. Right. Um, but with that, I will probably generate, um, depending on what I do on average, I'll probably be generating around like five to seven, at least short form videos a day. Interesting. Now, are you going to, do you like, if let's, okay, let's, let's do, um, uh, let's do shorts for busy people. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the name of my new <laughs> book, right? Shorts for busy people. So, it. all right. Um, I do want to get out and do some shorts. I've got eh, maybe eh, three to five hours a week to maybe do this. Yeah. Should I batch it all in that three to five hour period? And can I batch it all in that? You know, how would I do something like that? How can I plan that out? Yeah. So let's say you have three hours, right? Maybe like it's a Sunday morning for the kids to get up or what have you. Sunday morning from seven to 10, I'm going to batch out everything, right? I'd use the first 30 minutes. And I actually do this um, just like in my day to day. 
But the best things that work, here's a little hack. The best things that work on shorts, TikToks, reels, whatever you want to call these things, guys, the best things that work are stories, right? The best things that work are stories. And so I like to say this, especially like black folks are so good with telling story. Um, But I think about stories all the time when I'm having dinner, when I'm just talking to somebody. And so I keep a notepad. You can even see the title. Mm -hmm. It's stories for content, right? Mm -hmm. And I will just keep a list of like funny stories or even life lesson stories, entrepreneurial stories, stories though, right? And so if I had three hours, the first 30 minutes would be like, all right, how many stories do I have, right? Let's say that I have 20 stories that I know I can tell really quick, right? Again, these can be personal stories, life stories, kit stories about the kit. People love stories. And especially the more we can like humanize ourselves is my goal with these stories, right? So first 30 minutes, let's say I have 30 stories I can tell, boom there's 30 videos, right? The next, let's say I go through those 30 stories. So I have maybe 10 more, more minutes left in my planning session. I think about like just some things I like talking about, right? Maybe that's for me, business ads, books that I'm reading, right? And so I come up with maybe like 50 more or 20 more like things that I can just talk about. Let's say 10, 10 more things that I can talk about. Because I had 20 to 30 stories that I can talk about that I've just be, been keeping a tally of, I have 10 other like topics I can talk about. Now I have around 30 to 50 videos that I can record for the next two and a half hours, right? So I'm breaking my three hours down, 30 minutes for planning. So I sit down, 30 minutes planning, right? I think of some stories. I think of some to- some topics. One note, 80% of my videos, I want to be human, right? I want to be like stories. So that's why I have that ratio. 80% of my videos, story, 10 to 20% more expertise. So whatever I'm an expert in, right? So I have my 30 stories, 20 stories that I can tell, and I got my 10 business topics or whatever I'm an expert in. Mm-hmm. Then I sit down, I put up my phone, nothing even fancy. Do use my back camera though, because it's a little better than my front camera, right? I put up my phone on my tripod. I use one of those little clickers off of Amazon, little Bluetooth clicker, and I just shoot and go. And you will get really good at this where you can record 50 videos in an hour, right? But if you have two hours, you can record those just 50 topics that you're talking about. Oh, man. You know, I'm just going to leave it there, (laughs) y'all. I I, I can do, we could go on. Oh, here's what he's talking about. The little Exactly. Exactly. I could go on and on and on with you. (laughs) And I will at some other point. Yeah. But I mean, that was gold right there. I mean, if you could, and it's almost like going to the gym, right? If you, I, I get it right now, you think that is so hard at, to do, but if you just get out there, I don't care if you get the first three, get three of those things that she's talking about exactly. and then three of the, and just do that and then move forward. To, like you said, the more you do it, the easier it gets. It's and a muscle. It's a it muscle. It is a muscle. Yep. It is. You know, just like we're doing this, you know, I I started this off. I was like, look, I don't know where we're going, but part of the muscle of me being able to interview is because Mm -hmm. I've done so many. So Mm -hmm. you guys got to get out there and get in front of the camera. And uh, even if you don't want to get in front of the camera, we could talk about those too, how to, for for shy people, right? Yeah. Well, the one (laughs) thing that I say to like introverts, right, is like, um, I think most of us in the, the audience, I think we're talking to most of us even started our businesses, started whatever kind of like we're doing. I think most of us have, I like to think that most humans are good people, right? And I think that most good people actually want to help people, you know, like we got in this game to help people of some sort to to share, right? And so there's this thing that social media has allowed us to do is just share an impact for free. We get to tell our stories. We get to connect with people. We get to relate with people. I get to like go out there and help people for free. And so whenever I'm not feeling like in the zone to create content, I say, Casey, like how selfish of you, like not to like share this experience and the stories that you have that may help one person. Right. It's my I I believe that like all the things that I'm going through, the stories that I have to share, the expertise that I have is not just mine to hold on to. It's mine to share and help and help others. Right. And I get to do that before 20 years ago, I would have had to pay for billboards or I would have had to pay for TV slots to like get my message out there. or I would have had to like go door to door and help people. Right. Right. Now I get to sit in the comfort of my home turn on my iPhone, record some video, share some things, and I can reach millions of people for free. 
Mm. Right. And so I think about it that way. Like it is my duty. I get to create some videos and get out here and share and help, even if it's just one person um, with something that I have to, to share and help with. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Hey, last question before we get out of here. Yeah. I always like to ask this uh, final question. Was there something that I didn't ask you that I should have? Oh, um, it's a great question. Um, one question that I've been getting asked a lot, though, and you kind of asked me this, but is what platform should I prioritize right now? Mm -hmm. Right. When it comes yeah, to, to video, should I go all in on shorts, TikTok? uh instagram like what should i do and the one thing that i've been saying back to everybody is do not prioritize platform prioritize content it's the same content that works across all these platforms prioritize the content prioritize building this muscle of just making the the content and it's going to take you a minute to just upload that to every platform um so don't think about the platform upload to as many platforms as humanly possible get better at telling your stories and stuff in short form content and you're gonna you're gonna win the game Awesome. Casey, if people want to find you, follow you, work with you, where should they go? Yeah. So I'm on TikTok, of course. Um, at Marketing Case is, is the TikTok. Um, Facebook, Casey Brown, you can find me there. Those are probably the most places where I'm most active um, and on Instagram as well. But TikTok and Facebook, probably where I'm most active. Awesome. Hey, guys, we got to get out of here. Hey, Casey, hang on for just a second after this. But uh, for you guys, you're done. All right, we're out of here. Peace.